guys, but mod 14. Um, yeah, back here. Not much to talk about so far, <clears throat> as far as vlogs and whatever. Uh, let's do a little audio check. Okay. Um, but yeah, plan for tonight. As you can see. Civilization 3. Yeah, um, yeah, I've been talking about it for like three or four. Oh, it's like a little scraggly, you know, right here. Like a little, <laughs> funny a little puzzle. Oh, yeah, it's just kind of hanging on. <laughs> anyway, so I've been talking about Civilization 3 for like two or three nights now. And since I've been talking about it, and this is usually the time of night I stream it too. Man, I've been talking about it, talking about it, not doing it. You know, I got to re anchoring to play it tonight. So I don't know how long it's going to take to boot up or whatever. Uh, that's the. The card of oh, that card just dropped out. I guess that'll be the card of the night. The card of the day is Azur Eyes Silver Dragon Synchro Monster Double Yoing. I don't know. How do you say nine? I forgot. Double nine. So stay one tuna. So stay non tuna monster. When this monster is special summoned, dragon type of monsters you can't really control cannot be targeted or destroyed by card effects until the end of the next turn. Once returned, during your standby phase, you can target one normal type monster in your graveyard. There's something that targets. Pretty interesting that it's unique. Oh, it does have to use a non tuner normal monster. How funny would it be if Dark Magicians used Wait, don't Dark Magicians have a level 2 tuner? Hmm. Hmm. Interesting idea for a deck. Because that activates Dark Magical Circle every turn, which... We have Eternal Soul at Home deck win. A cool deck idea for Master Duel. Huh. All I would have to do is craft one Azurai Silver Dragon. Frequency Magician. That's the tuner I'm thinking of. Yeah, it's a level two and easily search it out. Because it uses spell counters and stuff. Anyway. Dream for another day, folks. I don't even know if there's an event going on for Master Duel. I think there's some, some kind of loner deck event, but. Not gonna do anything until there's a real festival for like lots of gems. Yeah, I only play just just so you guys know. Like, I'm probably only gonna stream a little bit of a vlog update for you guys. Sorry if you you know like if you really 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 really, really love, love 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 the Master Duel content. Yeah, sorry, we're probably only going to stream Master Duel when number one there's an event, number two there's an event I like, number three you get you know medals no matter what. See, like some of the events, you have to win to get uh, rewards, and that's not really going to fade in those. Well, like, I'll get the gems, but I won't stream it. You know what I mean? Because that's, but like, the last event was perfect because I had a thought, I had an idea in hand about playing Ally of Justice Quarantine, and despite the fact that Quarantine was banned, you know, we still got to show off a bunch of cool combos that Ally of Justice can do. That, and we didn't even get to like summon the ally of justice like the level 10 uh, for the OTK. <laughs> that would have been awesome. But like the idea was there. You could, you guys could see what I was building up to. So, um, yeah, because like I already have she inspired. Like all we would have needed was to like craft or pull the uh, the ultimate level 10 uh, ally of justice card. We would have been. That. Um, Check the back of the stream. Fuck, dude. Let's see. Not there. Yeah. Suck it. <laughs> uh, let's. Enough of the 
blog intro. Uh, yeah, I've gotten some feedback. It's it's interesting. The the vlog stuff I have posted, both you know on Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, etc. It's kind of uh, it's interesting. Like basically, you can tell the people who like behind the scenes content and vlog stuff. They're like really excited. They're like, oh man, I've been waiting for this. And big fan, etc. Uh, mostly on Facebook. Like the the reaction on Facebook is great. Actually, the reaction I get on Facebook is like people are like, man, more vlog stuff. Keep with the vlogs. Keep with the intros. You know, the long intros where I just talk about my day or whatever. Probably that's because um, people I have on Facebook, like for the most part, they're my friends. Like they're my actual like, you know, friends, friends, or like they haven't heard from me in a while, so just being able to see my face is like um yeah, because I mean I know quite a bit of people and you know, you live your daily life, you go to work, whatever, you go home uh, chances are well, like for example, I have five siblings, or six and one of them I see basically every day like the other five, like yeah, you're not gonna see them. Other, they're in other states, bro. Like one's in over there, one's over there, one's in Seattle, one's in North Dakota, one's in you know what I mean. Like one's one's all the way in Argentina. You're not gonna see them. Ever. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. And yeah, she married this uh nice Hispanic guy, great guy. And uh, by the way, that's how I learned to speak Spanish. Yeah, <laughs> funny. I was telling Diego today because because we were talking in Spanish. We were talking in Spanish. We were talking in Spanish. He's like, you should do a Yu-Gi-Oh stream, like Master Duel, where I announce all my moves in Japanese or Spanish. Because, like, you guys will notice, like, on some of the, I've gotten some comments, too, on the Master Duel, the replays, where I'm just, like, I'm I'm using the Venus effect three times. I'm like, how can you point down? So stick. Stick sign ball. Shimmy shows you. Like, I'm literally, like, I don't even know if I'm speaking correct Japanese, but I've gotten some comments back on Facebook where they're like, whoa, man, you speak Japanese? And I'm like, no. Legit, like the only Japanese I speak is I tell people I speak like basically like you ever hear a line on the anime or any anime you like, like let's say you like Bleach, which running great show, great show. Um, but you like hear the same line so many times that you have it memorized. That's all I'm doing when I do the Venus plays, and I'm like, Haku Point Down, Shimi Shoji. It's like, you hear Shimi Shoji, Shimi Shoji, Kogik Shoji, Enko, you know, Ore no Tan, Watashi no Tan, Omai do Tan, you know. You hear so many terms that, yeah, eventually, you know, you just, you learn to recognize, like, oh. And I, I watch Yu-Gi-Oh! in sub only. You know, as an adult, ever since I turned 21, I only watch it in sub. Uh, unless... It happens to be the weekend, and, like, when I turn on the TV, they're playing dub. Now I'm just like, eh, whatever. I'm in the middle of showering. I'm getting ready for work. I'm in the middle of pulling my hair, eating yabba dabba do. I don't feel like changing the channel or booting up the computer, you know. I'm giving the computer a break. I'll watch dub. If, it just, if I just click, and it just so happens to be on... You know, or if I'm like channel surfing and like I just don't feel like booting up the computer and working on anything YouTube or et cetera, then I will watch the mostly GX. Mostly. I I, I love the GX stuff. <laughs> GX dub is hilarious. Hilarious. Uh but okay, I think that's enough of a vlog. We've kind of got a line of conversation, but yeah, yeah. Which dub do I hate the most? Okay, let, let, let's let's do a let's do a quick tier list. Okay, so I've only seen Yu-Gi-Oh, Yu-Gi-Oh GX, and Yu-Gi-Oh Five Ds. In the Yu-Gi-Oh GX, right? In Yu-Gi-Oh Five Ds, in the those are the only ones I've seen in Five Ds. In the those are the only ones I've seen in Five Ds. In the those are the only ones. And I've only seen Five Ds in the season. And I've only seen Five Ds in the season. And I've only. Not even two. I'd say like season one point five. Like basically, some of the voices of the Dark Signers, including uh, Callan. Oh, oh man! When I heard the oh, mm, oh Lord, Lord help me! Lord, ooh, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna insult. Mm, mm, today's not the. Mm. <laughs> uh, 
Akiza, Akiza voice dub. Mm. I'm, mm, I, I, I'm not gonna scream right now. I'm not gonna rant right now. I am, I'm going to be calm. I'm going to speak calmly and rationally and explain why I. I'm going to explain which dubs I like the most. Okay, here we go. DX number one. I like the voices for J Judai. I like the voices for Sho, or uh, Asuka, or Kaiser, um, for Marafuji, everybody. Even Manjome. Um, yeah, I like all the voices dubbed. And like Chaz It Up, Chaz It Up, that is so like, it's awesome, man. It, okay, can, can we just say the English version did something right? You know, Chaz It Up is awesome. You know, I know they didn't directly translate like the, the each, and then, and then I forget all of it, but they actually printed it into a card, which is like one, ten, one hundred, a thousand, you know. Manjome Sanda. Okay, yeah, they didn't translate the thunder. I don't know why. Because that's not really offensive. Or has implications. Yeah, I don't know why they cut the Sanda, the thunder. But regardless, Chaz It Up is iconic. Get your game on is iconic and you guys see like in the Yu-Gi-Oh! gx duel academy like the episode i just posted today i do the jaden voice like i i legit i have the jaden voice down kind it's close enough it's close enough to where people have been like hey man are you voicing jaden you know and i'm like yeah yeah you know basically um and that's because i can stay in the show and in fact, I can't wait till we get to uh, NGX. Dino DNA. <laughs> oh my. Laugh, laugh. Listen here, soldier. You gotta draw your cards. You know, man, I, I've been watching like a lot of Hassleberry lines for when we finally get to Hassleberry. And there are like only, I think, one scene with Hassleberry in Dual Academy. So I can't wait. Laugh, laugh. You know. Uh, but I'm gonna tweet this out that we're streaming. But yeah, overall, uh, the reaction to the vlogs, now, now I, I gave the good reaction. There's also been the bad reaction where some people are like, hey man, why are you so close to the camera? And like, I can't hear you. And like, et cetera. Obviously, you know, me streaming on Twitch here, you know, which I'm streaming right now, live, you guys, for the most part, you know what's funny is I actually, I don't even look at Twitch chat. That's, that's the other thing. Some people have been like, hey man, you never look at Twitch chat. You never respond to chat. Why aren't you talking about the chat? Like, legit. Here's how I look at Twitch, guys, right? So, here's how I, here's how I look at Twitch. Legit. Legit. And, like, when I say this, it's going to make a lot of sense to all of you who follow, who watch the VOD later, who like the vlogs. This is going to make a lot of sense. Here's how I look at Twitch. And I'm looking at you, Twitch, the viewer. Here's how I look at Twitch. This is a podcast. I'm talking. It's a podcast. It's like a sports podcast. It's like it's like a radio show. It's like, I don't really care where my voice is. I don't care where the camera is. I don't care about the angle. I don't care that you can see a, a Dusty right here. Squint hard enough at the chessboard. I don't care. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care that, you know, my hair is a mess or this or that. You know, I don't have to I don't have to look perfect. I've got the voice for radio. And like literally from day one that I've started streaming, you know, my face cam on Twitch, because people kept asking face cam, like, hey, face cam, face cam, face cam. Yeah, everybody does face cam. Why don't you do face cam? Let's see the face. Cam. You know. Um again, you get some unfollows, you get some follows. Basically, people who like the face cam follow. People who don't like it, and you know how I was streaming with just the gameplay, they unfollow. And people who like the face cam, they follow. Hey, you win some, you lose some. But we're gonna keep the face cam. Um, 
But let me just tell you guys, like literally, the format in my head is, hey, I'm going to do a four-hour podcast where basically I talk. That's it. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm not sitting here like thinking about chat, looking at chat, interacting with chat, waiting on chat. I'm not waiting on chat. I'm not waiting on chat. I'm not I'm not waiting for nothing. I talk about whatever the flippity flam fukula dukula comes to mind. And that's it. Like literally, like all the vlogs, all the etc. And like some some of the uh, recent behind the scenes videos you guys have seen where we've recorded like Final Fantasy VIII and GX Duel Academy, Nightmare Troubadour, etc. Like you see, like literally, I'm just like, I literally sit down. I literally, what I do is I press the start stream button. And then I'm just like, <sighs> hmm. what do I need to record today? And then sometimes it's Master Duel, and I'm like, dear God, please let there be no problems with Master Duel. And then I'll literally double-click Master Duel, and then, you know, and then while it's booting up, I vlog, and I talk about, oh, this happened today, this happened today, this didn't happen today, whatever. I'm working on this YouTube video, and then next thing I know, it's booted up, and, you know, we're good to go. So. And, uh, you know, whatever, you know. Now, I'm not the most exciting person. I don't have, you know, everyday... <laughs> oh, Divine Wrath, nice. I don't have everyday, you know, just fantastical, amazing, fantastic, like... Not like I work at Silver Dollar City, and I could say, Hey, man, today, we saw a little kid that was scared out of his life. Right, he was scared out of his life. Until he's never been on the ride before. And he he held his lunch, man. We thought we were all taking bets. You know, we thought he was going to, you know, let it out. You know, you know, so, but he, he held his lunch. He didn't, you know, he didn't choke. He just, he held on to it, conquered his fear. He was brave. He was like maybe nine years. I don't know. We don't we don't take ages. But he got in that ride, buckled that seat belt, sat next to his mom, didn't cry. Guess what? When he came out on the other side of that roller coaster, that kid Timmy was laughing. You see, if I worked at Silver Dollar City, that'd be a fun Twitch streamer to be, you know. Like, hey man, I'm a Twitch streamer, and I work at Silver Dollar City. And today, I saw, you know, but that's not, you know, that's not the way the cookie crumbles, and that's the way it was, and that's the way the cookie crumbles, and that's the way. Uh huh, uh huh. I like it. Uh huh. Oh. As a reference to uh, Bruce Almighty, Jim Carrey. <laughs> so, some of you guys I've noticed in the comment section lately have been asking, or just wondering, or, you know, etc. Man, you quote a lot of Jim Carrey. Isn't he canceled, or this or that? Or I'm just like, what? Canceled. I'm quoting funny movies to people. I don't, you know. I'll tell you the truth. I haven't followed who's canceled and who's not in like Hollywood, etc. If I feel like making an impersonation, I'll make it. I don't care. If okay. I'll even do impersonations of, you know, Trump if I really want to. I just thought of one, but it's pretty offensive, so I'm not going to do it. Today, we're going to be playing Civilization, okay? And then we're going to be playing as Muhammad Gandhi, you know? It was a very important very, he, he ran the 
Siri, Siri did not occur in my phone, okay, Uncle Febby, that's what happened. And then you know what happened. And then, while I was tweeting there, on my, on my golden throne, as we call it, I finished the tweet and tweeted it to, to completion, meaning I finished my download, okay. Working on a very big download, I had had McDonald's the night before, okay. Two Big Macs, no sauce. Monica came in. She said she made a home cake meal, and you know what I said? And you ordered me another large French meal. So last stream on Civilization, <laughs> I can't even take myself seriously after that one. Uh, but no, last stream on Civilization three. Um, there's actually going to be a few years. I think there's about twenty or fifteen years missing between last stream and this one. Um, that's because last stream, you could say it was uncivilized. Yeah, because uh. <laughs> last stream I started when um everybody was out of school and I remember that day and uh yeah sorry about that but uh, yeah um <laughs> yeah luckily uh oops luckily we didn't get a, a copyright strike or anything like that Luckily for us, luckily for us here at Floodmon 14 Studios, we didn't get a copyright strike or anything like that, or a uh, a warning from Twitch. But a uh, whole oh man, I watched the lot of that. You know, the the offensive, the uncivilized stream. And boy, let me tell you, we were pretty lucky that. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. We're pretty lucky. Wow, that stream was very uncivilized. Scary stuff, man. Scary stuff. Scary stuff. But, um, yeah. uh, also, I need to switch the category from uh, just chatting to gameplay. So I'll hang on just a second. You may hear something weird go on with the audio in my Twitch studio. And then right here. Oh, it's on movies and TV. That's odd. Anyway, let me move this. After I do this, everybody should be able to hear. Also, need to check on my uh, my Twitch, which is in Chrome. Yeah, make sure you can hear the game audio and yeah. So. Okay, and then I hit done here. And I switch from chatting to gameplay. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's almost perfect. Like, right where my face is, it's kind of, like, close to the map. So, and you kind of don't need to see the bottom left of the screen. That's almost perfect. Um, yeah, let's just jump back into the game. Okay, 
I'm gonna let the gameplay play for like two or three minutes, and then I'll check that in. Um, as far as plan for streams, same thing as uh, the last. Uh, so what we've been doing is basically uh, upgrading our forces on the new continent with the. Uh, uh, who did, I forget who we have here. I think the Greeks. Yeah, and the Incas. Yeah, so we've been upgrading our forces from Pikemen because over there on that continent we have mostly Pikemen and stuff. So we've been basically. Um, you know, the economy's booming thanks to the banks and Smith's trading company and stuff. Uh, oh, Smith's trading company's still in development. Well, thanks to the banks, well, the economy's booming. So, um, yeah, we've basically been like, for example, this must have been here. I'm gonna build, and I'm gonna go ahead and kick these pikemen now. Yeah, and then they can come over here. Time we've been, you know, trapping them as far as their settlers and stuff, not letting them escape. But that's uh, pretty much it. Um, musket man. So basically, any city that's working on musket man, I need to see. Okay, good. There's no pike them left. Um, yeah, so you're free to do banks and university. Uh, yeah. In the meantime, we're just improving the cities with roads and um, irrigation, etc. Okay, so you're waiting on a settler, so all I need to do is upgrade this one. And I guess I can make sure at that city, because that's pretty close to the port, the main port. I can make sure they're building a caravel, that's good. Are you fortified? Yes, you are. So I can make sure there's a Yeah, close by. Um, oh, this has a settler on it, that's sweet. Um, Okay, so where do I even want these guys to settle? Well, not really sure. Let's just have them go... Oh, what's going on with my mouse? Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was weird. Oh, let's just have them go right here. And then I'll have them connect with the port side city here. Yeah, there we go. This right here with this port station. Big transporting. There we go. They are woken up. Okay, good. Ooh, bonus grassland. That is good for you in this floor. Yeah, bonus grassland. If you guys don't know, you see, I've never explained it, but this is base grassland. Yeah, you can irrigate it up to three in under Republic, but if you put a mine on it like this, hey, you get two food, two shield, two gold. That is ideal. Uh, the more bonus grassland, the better. Basically, like this, yeah, for example, this, this square right here has two, so we can undo that. And then more shields, ooh. And then once, once we build a mine there, maybe we, uh, yeah, maybe we can build the courthouse faster, who knows? Uh, speaking of that, I could probably hurry this courthouse, but it's already so far along that I think we'll just let it ride out and yeah. mine, mine, mine our own business. All I'm doing here is I'm basically building the forest and cutting down the forest in order to accelerate the shields here. So that's what I've been doing at Bombay. Um, yeah, there's 10 shields. There we go. Because I don't think there's any bonus anywhere here. Maybe there is, but uh, if there is, I haven't found it yet. So next turn, we'll build the forest back there. Pretty easy. Uh, mine our own business. Uh, yeah, these guys are almost done exploring here, too. Very exciting. Yeah, we almost got the entire layout of the land. Um, yeah, pretty cool, honestly. And before we declare war on somebody, we will get all of our explorers to a safe place. So that's plan. Let's just wait right here. Yeah, and like, look at all this 
Luna's Grassland man by New Ganges, and uh, we took over this city culturally. Pretty cool, man. Pretty cool, yeah. Yeah, very cool. So, yeah, great city site right here. And I'm basically having this city fund the workers for everybody here. Because we need three workers here, three here, and then three here. So, pretty cool. Let's have this city switch to... the city before I did, so I need to check all of the terrain, uh, because I don't know if the improvements are ideal or not, to be quite frank. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, CC, like, but this is bonus, so I should probably convert this to, um, yeah, just a regular mine. Uh, sure. guys that are doing war elephants, I'm actually going to switch to shields because, oh, in fact, I can switch you to musket too, because, yeah, there we go. I think we're getting pretty good as far as the offensive units, we just need more of the defensive units, and I think we're more good as far as artillery. Yeah, okay, okay. Looks good. Uh, oh, you can go help these ships down here. Yeah, I think we're good, yeah. Good the firestorm on the shadow. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, okay, okay. Looks good. Uh, oh, you can go help these ships down here. Yeah, I think we're good, yeah. Okay. There you go. And uh yeah, back to Civilization 3. Um you know, as with most Civilization 3 streams, like usually the first hour, I find myself talking and explaining stuff like quite a lot. But uh <laughs> as we get to hour 4, you know, 5, 6 maybe. Um I'm probably going to talk a little less. So, if you've got a question, <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, but I will try to remind myself, hey, check on chat every, you know, two to three minutes. Eh, no guarantees, though. I'm still getting used to streaming, for sure. Bear with me. <laughs> uh, one thing I should check, though, is if it shows up on the top left. So let me put a message here. Put a message here. Uh, here we go. Hi, y'all. Plan is to reach 15, 1350 AD. Because that is literally the plan, so. There we go. Uh, and I don't see that message at top left either. But it's okay. I will personally check every few minutes. Uh, ooh. Okay. Got plenty. Of, let's send the one with three. Health on over to the other side. And down you go. You know where to go with these guys. Alright. <laughs> Easy peasy. Um, okay, still working on these guys. Uh, send one out. Uh, you know where to go. Yeah. Eight turns. Wow, that's a long time. I probably should send him over to the other side, but. Whatever, it's done, it's done. Oh, this city's done. Sweet, okay. Uh, yeah, just, uh, that's fine. Go ahead and finish, and I will send you right here. Yeah, these guys. There you go. So, New Birmingham is done with, uh, musket men. That's good. Yeah. 
yeah, like I said, I am going to back a few of these off, and this city does need two musket men, so... I think we're about ready for war. Might be a lot of two turn, and then we're gonna be declaring war here. Which will be a lot of people, that's what a lot of people like in civilization. Uh, let's see if down down there. some uh, forest right here. There we go. And, and... Oh, I can actually minimize this. Hang on. That will help. Uh... And... There we go. Okay. <laughs> We're good. All right. pretty interesting um and, and i do sort of get it i mean that is a big aspect of this game but uh would i say it's the most important aspect no. i would even say you know wartime just because it's so you know natural to have wartime in this game um i wouldn't even say it's the most you know Really not. It's really, you know, I, but I don't. I would say like seeing someone build a space race is far more exciting than yeah. Um, another muskem in here is great. But yeah, I would say yeah. I I don't know. I find watching a uh, uh, a space race completion much more exciting than any. You know, de declaration of war strategy. Uh, mainly because, like, you can trick the you can trick the AI in this game. So now, now if you're playing human versus human, that's another story. That's exciting because, yeah, yeah, it just. Did. Okay. Okay, Caravel. I think you're good, Calcutta. <laughs> More elephant, sure. Courthouse, great, great. Uh, yeah, I need to hurry this barracks, actually. Muskin men, sure. Caravel, great. Marketplace, the city at? Oh, it's on the first clip? <laughs> I guess. Well, I'll be, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 
agree in Aqueduct here. 50 turns is a lot. So I will agree in production. Make that city good. We're down to 690. Okay. That looked good, London. Okay. I see you, London. London Bridge, boy. What's that in the new For the most part, I prioritize cathedrals and like cathedrals, temples, and growth, and that's just because, yeah, yeah, it's good for the economy. It's good enough for me. Uh, sure, for him. that way. And the only reason I'm I'm rushing some of these aqueducts is because you can grow right away. So, and growth means more money for the economy. But yeah, see, aqueduct. Usually, I'll do cathedral right away. So. for an invasion or preparing for your defense walls are good very good actually so definitely that's uh, chat looks good chat checking chat checking check checking almost well, sounds like a tongue twister chat checking chat checking courthouse no. but here. Meet Topolis. <laughs> yes, I will hurry the barracks. Very important to have it here. Uh, yeah, Volcano's now active. Ooh. Mm I think we're just gonna we're gonna start to chill back, scale back a bit, and play. All right, who my next card is? It will be. I'll take the black sleeve card actually. Which black sleeve card? Which one should I take? My next card will be. I pick this one. Ah, Azura eyes again. Wow. Oh, the other one was Mirror Forge. Wow. That's pretty lucky. Probably should hurry this. Ooh, my gold blow. And you can meet me halfway. Yep. And you, you'll notice with the transport ship strategy, basically I can load up here and then go one. Basically, I can have this ship and then, you know, continue. It basically helps you transport faster if you load up inside the city. Um, I don't even know where I want you guys, Butler. Uh, honestly, all these cities look good. And yeah, that city's going right here. Um, maybe I'll just have these guys wait, like, down here. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Um, yeah, probably, yeah. So just go ahead and unload it here. And have you guys, like, wait, yeah, just for safety, like, 
right here by the bananas. But, yeah, that's kind of odd. out of the way. <laughs> so thankfully we got the warning that the volcano's active, but yeah, pretty interesting. Huh? Is this one full? Oh, it's not. Okay. In that case, I'll have you go on this one.
Oh good, this is finally clear. Sweet. Okay, so we're gonna call this plane. We actually call it something else. Because <laughs> there's a lot of water. myself tonight like every time I check on chat I'm like chat check <laughs> yeah that's good for this city actually uh yeah because this city has a lot of plains and so this will be the main source of food right here once that irrigated just building a road it looks like we're just building a road just direct from hyderabad 4 to new Bay. City's done, and these guys were just helping out. Let me double check. All right, I might have done this last stream too, but never heard to double check your closest cities. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, these guys are clearly just assisting um, the city with the uh, yeah, with the Forbidden Palace. So, yeah. Ooh, right, city um, or settler. Yeah, that would be pretty 
to do it. The only reason I'm going to build this city, not that I particularly want it, but um, it does have, uh, I've already, you know, done half the work, you know, so I might as well. And that way I won't have to check it out there with this stuff or else. City's done. Yeah, three irrigations. Oh man, so much many shields and stuff. Yeah. Okay, so really I just need to focus on finishing this stuff and we're good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I'm actually going to prioritize on clearing out this city in my dross five. Yeah. Give these guys a good start. Chat, check, chat, check, chat, check. All good, all good. All right, here, here we go. All right. But yeah, I'm gonna focus on this right now. Uh, right above that. I'm gonna draw some five, and then we should be good. Uh, yeah. Some of these I'll have to wait to upgrade till next turn, but that's okay. Like, the main thing is that I've got the, the pike men ready.
It's just, it's my childhood, you know, epitomized, and it's just, I love it. I, I, I can't explain why. I, I just, I love that. Great. I'm glad that I am in a position to be able to, you know, stream it, play it, share it with you. Why is he streaming this? Why is he playing bots? Like, legit, this is my childhood, bro. This is. Zen Wire really did his thing here, man. This is, this is one of the last ones. Yeah, it actually disables the Great Wall and the Statue of Zeus, which means no more ancient cavalry, which kind of unfortunate, but it's gotta happen for military tradition because this will eventually give us the upgrade to the war elephants. Cavalry. Uh cavalry. Almost said cavalry. <laughs> uh but yeah, six attack. Three movement. This is the big key. Three movement. Three defense. Horses and Soul Peter. Very good unit for quite a while. Here we go, guys. Ooh, request an audience, huh? World map. <laughs> oh, patchouli. Ha, cha, tutti. Oh no 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 no. We're not getting that. Mm, they're not far behind us. They're not far behind. Okay. Yeah, I'm not giving you my world map, bro. Hop that. Nice try, though. I'm trying to come in this way. I see. Uh, 
bad next we will focus on military tradition yeah great walls obsolete loose obsolete there you go so and like a lot of our cities we'll be able to build walls now so. uh but uh yeah we are able to learn coastal fortress in a lot of the coastal cities Also fortress here right now actually. Uh, probably you will be able to show you guys what this does. Looks pretty nice. Yeah, it's got the floors, it's got kind of the by the ocean here. Yeah, pretty nice. Honestly. Nice. Just taking a look. Just taking a look. Um, take a look at this one as well. This one's closer to the desert. Not quite in the desert. Right, yeah. This is the city I'm this is cities all up in the desert. Wow, yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> it's amazing that the city's able to thrive like it is. Uh, but being by the ocean tends to help, yeah. Alright. So, and I think this city is good. Just needs to produce. Start account. Uh, it doesn't matter what you build now, I'm, I'm good. Um, aqueduct, sure. Alright. Yeah, because that is right by New Julie, so that's actually really good. I can, work on, I can hurry this cathedral. Oh, yeah. New Jaipur. Oh, wow. There's probably like one here. Oh, the other one I will put near Jerusalem. Well, Jerusalem looks good. Maybe I'll put it... Where do I think they're going to counterattack is the question. That's a good question, you know. The city is pretty close, but I think I'm actually going to focus more on what's down here. Because they... I mean, there are ships here, so clearly they could possibly have ships here. You maybe do a coastal attack right here. Highly possible.
press press on this one. Chat check. Chat check. But yeah, I'm ready for war at any time now. Uh, yeah, it looks good. Chat looks good. All right, let's keep playing. I should cancel these guys because I need every I need the marshland to be clear. Right, yeah. There we go. Actually, in an effort to help accelerate, I'm actually gonna have these guys go here too. Normally I wouldn't right away, but yeah, I'm gonna have these guys go as well. Bananas is done with that. And this seems to be clear. Oh, so does this. Was that built on that? Oh, to help these guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, there we go. That does make sense.
in some of these coastal cities, I guess in some of these coastal cities, where I'm building like Caravilles or Wealth or whatever, I can change to a coastal fortress. Chat check, chat check, chat check, chat chicka chicka. Yo, yo, mic check one two one two. What's going on, everybody? I don't know. I've been streaming like an hour. Sweet. Keep going.
this fort way. Maybe because it's in the middle of nowhere. around 800 for the gold per turn that's that's honestly pretty solid helps us upgrade a lot of stuff this is as you guys can tell this is my usual strategy you know once you get banks and stock markets your economy is low in me yeah it's easy it's
guess more defense here would be good. Yeah, it would be very good, actually. actually going to improve it to its best uh, functionality. Uh, what I will do is build a mine there, but ideally, I would probably normally build an irrigation there. It's just, I don't want to build the irrigation and then our I think I found 
on the bonus. Nice. Uh, what is this? Ah, uh, coming around that way. Huh? That's clever. That's clever.
Menschen. I remember I was sending a, a team to help this one. We just built the city. to Newton's University. Not bad. Hat check. And I'm going to go take a break. I'll be right back. I'll touch that down. <laughs> Time soon. 
Okay, uh, walls it is, Cusco. What's his name? Cusco. You're off my groove. I don't even know that you guys could hear that with the mic. I was quoting Emperor's New Groove. of our uh three musket men okay. wow it took you long enough wow uh, i dare bet too my goodness all oh, right i see i see so so there's a uh upgrade to the city that we're looking for it's called offshore platform and man is it gonna turn the production in the city around fortunately until we get it I mean, I guess I could do this, but it would cause a shortage. So, wow, that's... Yeah, yeah, that's... Offshore platforms are waiting on there. It'll be a... Uh, I mean, 
we might beat the game before we ever get to Hot Shot Island. First one, wow. Okay. Still take it.
chat check. Yeah, we're getting real close, man. I'm excited myself. is done smoldering I feel comfortable Honestly, there are some cities on this island that need more muskets. So, hmm. could have just the city focus on ones that need, like for example, here. I could probably just have a muskets. Who knows? And then yeah, like here, they only need two turns to build. These guys can help assist and industry. And oh wow, you just built one too, nice. Um keep it here though. Nice, nice. Yeah. Oh, we found the bonus. Okay. See, the AI can always change the irrigation to mining. So, anytime the AI, you know, when you're in a situation like this, you have like this lone island city, and you can grab the irrigation while we can. Number one, their borders might always expand. Like Megara could always expand their borders to right around right here, as well as New Thermopylae is more likely. But you want to grab the irrigation while you can before they both change it to a mine, which they might, and before they can expand. So, irrigate here, priority. Drag it into right here. <laughs> Just a little sieve, sieve three tip for you guys. <laughs> I'm sure if you're watching the stream, you know that. Or you know, maybe you know, maybe you just like watching.
good to get the road to the museum.
see, that's why the branch is important, so I can upgrade these incoming pikemen. do I need for the cathedral? Okay, yeah, I'll hurry you that next turn for sure. Um. Very good. Very good. Okay. Rebush. Right? Yeah. Uh, oh no, 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 this is the uh, the patrolman I had right here. Till the volcanic activity is stopped. Good. <laughs> I got a lot of people waiting to clean that up, so that's good. It's uh, yep, here we go. Here we go. Uh, everybody hello there hello there bza don't know if you're still here but uh bza j nick n w n a w o d <laughs> all right how's it going uh hi <laughs> uh question do you like live question mark there we go. Yay! I check it on Twitch chat. <laughs> uh, how many minutes has it been since I checked? It's been a little bit, so. Yeah, hope your day is going well. Um, yeah, we're just here. Um, basically, all I'm doing in this game is like right now, uh, the economy's booming since we have a bunch of banks and stuff. And yeah, basically all I'm doing is we're getting this much gold per turn, which quite a bit. So all we're doing is upgrading like all these obsolete pikemen and stuff, uh, converting them to musketmen. We're transporting like war elements from here, from this. This is the continent we started on right here. Uh, we're getting Newton's University going and we're transporting like a lot of uh, crusaders we're getting from 
Um, what's that one wonder? Yeah, like from the Knights Templar, yeah. And then, yeah, this is our starting continent, and we're just transporting everything over here. We're building up our offensive and defensive forces here. We're eventually going to declare war on these guys because they've been camping. They've been camping here for quite a while in my city, and to be quite frank, it's annoying, so we're just going to kick them out. Uh, I don't think we're going to try to completely wipe them out, but we're definitely going to reduce these forces, because look, that's like, what, seven? Uh, that's a nice stack. Two. Yeah, they, uh, they got some forces here, the Inca. We're mainly going to reduce that. I hope to take... One, two, three, yeah, maybe like four of these cities, and then we'll call it good. We'll declare peace again, you know. <laughs> so that's the plan. But in order to to kick them back, we need to reinforce the cities. So that's pretty important. Um, I love, but I need to go job. Oh, hey, I hey, I understand. But uh, thanks for stopping by, and uh, we'll see you. Bye bye. Uh, to, oh, to job soon? Yeah. Um, where do you work? That is my question. Uh, where do you work? Uh, if it's okay, if I ask. Hmm. Uh, that's interesting. Speaking of job, actually, uh, in America, tomorrow is what's called Labor Day, which means a lot of people have the day off. Um, but you could be from another country. Or you could have forgotten that tomorrow's Labor Day in America, and 99% of people have a day off. I don't know. But, uh, either way, thanks for stopping by. I watch you from Malta. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah, it's 8 a.m. 8.08. Wow. Okay. Well, hey. Yeah, thanks for stopping by. And, um, yeah, I hope you have a good day at work. Bye-bye. Yeah. Wow, from Malta. Yeah. Yeah, that's interesting. Wow. Okay. Okay, yeah. I do have a... Oh, hmm. That's, uh, yeah, Malta, yeah. I don't know, I don't, I don't where that's at. Interesting. to do there to be quite frank so okay. hmm that might be like the most unique yeah that might be the most unique chair I've ever had from Malta uh hey I guess I mean I don't know what else to say on that one that's that's awesome uh
like just one more unit of shields here. I may convert this to a bonus. Um, I'm getting pretty close there to go. But of course, this needs to be. Oh, wait. Right, yeah. That's why it's so close, because. I've actually increasing the production. That's interesting. That is interesting. Um, but this city can afford to. We can afford to change. Shatter we had, we're gonna name this city Alta. <laughs> great city, great city in real life. I, I hear good things, man. So, there we go. Alta has been created. All right, and we're gonna check. Uh, yeah. All right, <laughs> there you go. Great name for a city, by the way. for those of you like i what's weird is like i know where malta is and i know you know things here and there about malta but you know for those of you who are interested i guess i can give a little geography need a lesson on malta well not really all i'm really going to do is here go to google here and google malta uh there are some things about malta that are pretty interesting that i that i remember from history that I can tell you about guys about, but Malta. Um, city. Do, 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 do. So yeah, for those of you who don't know, uh, Malta is actually an island in the Mediterranean Sea. It's close to uh, yeah, Vieta, Saint Julian's, and uh, Dingley, as well as Blue Grotto. Um, yeah, pretty unique. Um. It's an island in southern Europe, and it's the largest and most populous of the three major islands that constitute the uh, Maltese uh, archipelago. So, yeah, and has a total of five islands that surround it. Um, got a population of about five hundred thousand. So, you know, of course, with the largest, it's kind of like basically, you know, how in America we have Hawaii. It's kind of like that but not really because the the Maltese archipelago is really its own it's really its own unique thing there's really no other uh place like it uh but yeah as far as the general history yeah um it's between Sicily and the North African coast so Sicily is like the end of Italy right you know the boot the boot and then you have the North African coast so North African coast generally people think of Egypt uh you know Cairo etc so it's kind of like right between Cairo and Rome. So there you go. Uh, but yeah, it's a nation known for historic sites related to a succession of rulers, including the Romans, Moors, Knights of St. Joan, uh, French and British. So it's changed hands. And there's a lot of cultural things in Malta, which are pretty unique, to be quite frank. Oh uh, yeah, it has numerous fortresses, megalithic temples, and the... um. It's been a while since I said this, but the Ha'al Fa'flini uh, Hypo Zianim, so a subterranean complex of halls and burial chambers dating to about 4000 BC. Pretty interesting stuff, honestly. Um, Malta is actually on my bucket list as far as like, you know, because everyone has a bucket list of places they'd like to explore. And yeah, exploring the, uh, you know, subterranean uh, complexes, not all of them. But one that is referenced in the in the Bible, um, kind of, you know, it, it, it's referenced in a roundabout way. Um, yeah, I'm definitely interested in Malta, and you should be too. Uh, it's got quite a large coastline as well. But uh, yeah, pretty. I hear good things, man. So, but I hear it's a great travel destination. Um, but yeah. Is Malta part of Italy or Spain? 
but it's technically it's it's Malta is not a part of Spain or Italy, which is very interesting considering where it's located. But Malta has been an independent state since the 21st of September in 1964. And so they're actually coming up on their like uh, Independence Day, so to speak, and has been a republic since the December 13th of 1974. So, yeah, there you go. But before it was independent, uh, Malta formed part of the British Empire, yeah, between 64 and 74. So, we're talking about pretty recent history, you know, like really, 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 really recent history. And it was an independent state, but still recognized Queen Elizabeth II, Great Britain. So, pretty recent changes as far as government and stuff. So, there you go. So... And yeah, what's great about Malta is like crime rates are pretty low there. So, you know, because it's an isolated island, kind of helps, you know. So, yeah, pretty cool. Yeah. So, and, you know, it being an island city, generally the weather's pretty great, you know. Yeah. <laughs> so, but uh, yeah, that's some info about Malta for you guys. Man, like, <laughs> you know, out of everything I, I talked about tonight, but, but yeah, particularly it's. Uh, also, legend has it that the Malta catacombs, uh, and this is what they won't tell you on Wikipedia, uh, legend has it that the Malta catacombs, you know, that were talked about, the underground tunnels, actually connect to, uh, well, it depends on if you're, it depends on what you believe. If you believe in, like, Zeus and Athena, all that, it's believed that the Malta catacombs connect to Hades door to hell yeah so you know if you know the right way it's also believed by certain other cultures that um that they literally connect to hell you know if you wish. but it's also but uh some people also theorize that the malta catacombs actually connect to the mainland of italy and that's pretty interesting. The, what's the truth? What's the truth? The truth is a lot of the uh, subterranean catacombs in Malta, as well as in general, in general in the world, we're talking in general. A lot of catacombs and deep tunnels, you know, what's funny is, here's what I believe, personally. I believe they used to be connected, Malta and the mainland of Italy that there used to be an undersea tunnel that literally did connect, that you could walk under a tunnel and connect to the land on the other side. But here's the thing. Here's two, three, five things we know. Tectonic plates are always shifting. And Malta was probably part of the mainland for quite a while. Now, exactly how many years? I don't know, but I've always theorized Malta was part of the mainland of Italy you know, kind of like in a Pangea type thing, and that it just kind of drifted, you know, tectonic plates, they do shift, they do move slightly over time, and it has been quite a while, but I believe Malta has always been like, like, Italy hasn't been a boot, but if you connect Malta, Italy would look more like a platform shoe, and Malta would be the platform, and that I think just slowly over time, the tectonic plate just kind of, just kind of gradually just shifted and then it just kind of whoop, just kind of grew root you know there where it says today um am i right i don't know you know that's just what i've always thought it's just if you look at the i'm thinking specifically of the geography and i could pull up google maps and yeah yeah but do but no no i'm thinking of what i've learned in history classes specifically world history and like i can literally picture malta and like what it looks like and like dude yeah, that's what I've always thought. In that, you know, it literally, what, you know, I've always thought it literally was part of the mainland. And the reason the catacombs are, you know, have legend to be connected was because they literally were on the mainland. And then, you know, of course, it becomes unconnected as you drift out to sea, you know, due to the tectonic shifting, etc. You know, so. um, and also, you should know. Uh, a lot of the volcanoes in the area of Italy, you know, we're talking ancient history, are very, 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 very volatile. 
aka active aka you know you know kind of like the volcanoes here i mean i know this is a simulation but the volcanoes here the problem is if, if you have a volcano close to the shore let's say this volcano was here you know what i mean we're talking like real life situation what can happen is that some eruptions last one or two days that's it they calm down Eruptions closer to the equator, which Malta is, Malta is really, 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 really close to the equator. Uh, we're working on all kind of science now, but it's pretty much a fact that the closer a volcano is to the equator, the more volatile it is, and the more dangerous it is, you know, so, now, yeah, so you just have to know that, and there are several volcanic areas uh, amongst Italy and close to Italy and Greece and all kind of stuff that probably I mean probably we don't know for a fact we I mean we're still researching and like I said we're still uh, exploring the underground caverns in Malta around Malta in Italy around Italy that uh, yeah we're still exploring and I, hey bro I'm, I know I'm wrong and Malta was just there never was part of the mainland. But the theory is, yeah, the volcanic activity near the equator, you know, is pretty volatile, pretty intense, pretty, you know. Um, and the volcanic activity was sustaining, you know, close to Italy and Malta and all that. And yeah, Malta eventually drifted out. That's, that's the running theory with most, you know, geologists. Uh, yeah, Malta's on my bucket list. Uh, there's pretty interesting stuff. So, that was my history lesson about Malta. <laughs> so, there you guys go. Probably didn't expect that in the middle of your uh, Civilization 3 stream, but uh, well, you, know, you don't always get what you want. So if you try sometimes, you can get what you need. You guys should go to Malta. Oh, by the way. Uh, any volcanoes around in near Malta have been dormant for quite a while. Yeah, quite a while on that. So. <laughs> but yeah, when I say volcanoes, don't get scared. We're talking about ancient, ancient activity. Way back when. Yeah. Cool story. <laughs> cool story, bro. Can we get back to the gameplay? Sure, sure. You got a Twitch troll, Twitch chatter. I almost said Twitch troll. <laughs> yeah, what's funny is like, you know, there's no way to prove that guy was from Malta. But he did get the discussion going, you know, and uh, yeah, you know, I hope, uh, <laughs> I hope he comes back. Yeah, pretty cool. Yeah, pretty cool. But yeah, yeah, that guy is from Malta. That's my most unique chatter. Yes. Yeah, C C Z A J Nick uh N A W O D yeah yeah hey that's you know and uh yeah hope he has a good day at work thanks for stopping by man that's awesome that's awesome <laughs> all right back to the gameplay <laughs> that that was exciting that day man Let's go. I think we're going south with these guys. Right. Bet you guys didn't think I knew that much about Malta. Huh? Hey, some places you study in history, like you, you got it locked in. You remember because it's exciting. It really is. Yeah. It's exciting to think about what. It, I mean, because you know the ancient history, right? You know the history. You know the culture. You know this, but like. I'm thinking like in 2020, when do I think I'll have enough money saved up to go to Malta? Probably like 2040, you know what I mean? Like when I'm retired, it's a retirement bucket list goal. And like, honestly, who knows what can happen to Malta then like hopefully good things. I mean, cause they are an independent country now, which, you know, that's good. Uh, who knows, man, who knows? I hope the best for them, man. You know, that's all I can do. Hope for the best. Yeah. Alright. Who knows? You 
know, because uh, it's pretty interesting to think about as far as history and like modern history is very weird. You know, modern history is generally very open and very, you know, inclusive. But not all too long ago, some nations were just like, nah, you can't come here. You know what I mean? Like, you can't, you can't, you know, we just, you know, <laughs> pretty defensive, pretty, you know. Honestly, for an island independent nation, that's kind of the best strategy, you know, as far as running your government. You know, uh, you might think, oh, tourism is good in this thing. It is. For the economy. But, uh, I mean, let's just say if you had that policy in place, in a certain, uh, I don't know, a certain thing happened, you know, a bit. A vid, a, uh, a vid, a vid that's, uh, we can't talk about on YouTube. A vid that's kind of like the Coronas, the Corona that you have in your fridge or in the light. Hey, buy Corona Day, man. Corona Light, man. It, it gets you, it makes you feel good without making you, you know, too tipsy. Okay, Corona Light. On sale now. But yeah, imagine there was a vid, you know, a vid, you know, uh, and you, and you, you, you said as a country, okay, we're an island nation, we're not allowing anyone in, nope, you know, period, we don't care, it's bright and sunny, we don't care, we're just not letting anyone in, you gotta pay to get in, and then you gotta pay some more, yeah, good way to boost the economy. Also, it's a good way to keep the riffraff out. The riffraff pirates, better. Pretty good. And that way, if someone just straight up and, you know, comes in without paying, um, you know, you know, like another nation, another nation, then you know it's time to shore up all those, all those guys we've been training because these guys are up to no good. They, they just barged in here without paying. This other nation, you know, right, right next door. They're up to no good. They didn't, they didn't pay. They didn't pay the fee. They're up to no good. That's a good government strategy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. That's that's thinking of portals. That's how you keep the riffraff out. <laughs> you know. That's how you keep like your own people. Your people, your blood and sweat and tears, the people of your nation. That's how you keep them safe. Yeah, it sounds a little, you know, strict, and it sounds like you would, you know, kind of neuter your own economy because, yeah, people can go to islands anywhere. But if you make people pay, you know, as they step on the island, you even step on the island. And the way you do it is you see how I have all these ships. Basically, moor a bunch of ships all around your your island. You know, no matter how big or small it is, and you catch people coming in. It's like, hey, you know the law, pay up. So, and then hey, if they pay, yeah, sure. you can take a tour. We got a tour right over here. All right, I mean, we make. And you literally, the way you do it as a nation is you just say, oh, hey, we make everybody pay. like it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's that's how I would run a nation if I was the the leader of a of an island nation. You know, that's how I would run. What do I know? I'm just a guy talking about Malta. Back to the gameplay. That's the
that a nice little uh, uh, molding on uh, molding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I talked about the history. I talked about the legend of how they're connected, right? Plates. Yeah, yeah, and I even like mentioned the Hades. Yeah, molding. Well, you've read about it. You've read about it. You've read about it. Yeah, yeah. No, you know what I'm talking about. The catacombs. The catacombs. tradition you can get quite a bit the biggest thing is yeah we've had a victorious army so now we can start building uh, the military academy most of the time i'll put this in my capital but yeah and then we get the last technology of the era magnetism uh brigade galleon this is good for the english so if you got them in your civilization you may want to attack them before you and the computer AI start discovering this because the Man of War is their special unit. So, uh, anyway, magnetism, big picture. We're moving on. And I think next we will learn nationalism. So, there we go. We are technologically advanced. Let's do it. Yep, military cap. We definitely should. Definitely should. Right. 12 turns, not bad, but uh, yeah, now we want to start building cavalry, good, I should probably build another one, really should, yeah, new Cusco, yeah, let's hurry up musket men, probably make it to where we have five, five musket men in all my nearby cities like that, before we, you know, get too far there. Go ahead and upgrade this guy. Before I forget, nice. Uh, Caravel. Side there are bad, right? Yeah. Now here I want to start building 13. Okay, I'm keeping an eye on the military academy terms, but yeah.
Crazy man, that guy was like, Yeah, I'm from Mars.
that's like the last city. What? I have this square right here. Wow, I missed that one. I can hear it being this one right here. Wow. Well, didn't see that one, Josh. Probably upgrade this guy. Looks like all the volcanic activity is stopped, so we'll have these guys go in and clean up the mines in the meantime. Have you guys go and clean up the uh, volcanic eruption? Thank you. 
Yeah, it'll actually, uh, you know, disable any, like, roads, improvements, etc. you made, so just keep that in mind. That's kind of why I built the city, just, you know, I didn't build it right next to the volcano, I built it a little outside, both because it would be a port city, and because, like, yeah, it is kind of... It'd be good to have the shield, but it would be kind of a problem to, uh, yeah, you know, having to constantly clean it up, especially early on, so, yeah, just keep that in mind, keep that in mind for next time. You can stop with the HC daily references, um, this world is almost done. Like I said, in each city, so matter of fact, let's have you age. Well, all my gold's gone. guys are good to go through here. I think I'll actually have these guys build a, a fortress just so we're clear to move through. Yeah. And I don't, I don't mind if we It's just, you know, I'm going to need the road, so. <laughs> That's the road. Chat, check, chat, check, chat, check, chat, check. Nice, we're good to go. All right. <laughs> yeah, that's an interesting, uh, yeah, multi. Yeah, that is on my bucket list. So. And of course, you you guys know how what a bucket list is. Like, sure, I don't have to tell you, but if anything has ever been on your bucket list, hey, you tend to research it, even though you've never actually been there. Pretty interesting stuff, yeah. Well, yeah. I love it. Um, great. Alright. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. All three of these guys arrive on time. The two musket men and the shrimp. That's interesting.
suspect we'll be going to war in like 700s to the 900s. Great wonder. Great wonder. Yeah, pays maintenance costs for harbors, marketplaces, banks, airports, commercial docks. Great. Great for your economy. You gotta build this one. I highly recommend this. And where is Smith's Trading Company? Right there. <laughs> Alright. Wow, only 12 on the Military Academy? Well. That's pretty quick, honestly. Um, I feel like my capital city will be a little faster, just because it's expanded beyond 12, yeah. But we'll see. Um, let's, do... let's actually hurry one of these. Yeah. Caravel, okay. Walls, good. Uh, hurry, I must get in here. New Ganja is full. Uh, right, I'll have to do it next turn. That's fine. Fortress. Whenever I see Coastal Fortress, I immediately think Fortress. I immediately think of the Pokemon. Crazy. Uh, good, good. Rex.
I guess I can upgrade this uh, warrior that just kind of said here. Yeah. I might also be able to upgrade these guys. I can. The war elements. Wow. Hmm. Really something I'm going to outrightly focus on. I prefer to use the special units, but. Send two out, but uh, yeah. oh, I need money. Okay, yeah. I'll send this one out. Yeah. Alright, All right. you're skipping two. I think we're fortifying right here.
Yeah, I can tell better now that I did that. Well, actually, one, two, three, four, five. That might be better. No, 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 no. Here's better because... I'm just trying to get the most grassland as possible, in case you guys are wondering what I'm doing. Yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that would give us a lot of grassland, actually. But yeah, it's one, two, three. That's the problem. Okay, so. One, two, three. I think right here is actually better.
the surf. Uh, honestly, this site needs a cathedral. Probably not gonna hurry. Yeah, but yeah. Um, yeah, Thank you. Or seven turns? Wow. I probably should hurry one of these first, though. streaming for three hours i think we'll go a little while longer i'll probably go like right before the declaration of war as a matter of fact i just remembered i do have some youtube stuff to work on so this will be my last turn for tonight we're already at three hours and 26 minutes man and this game goes back quick bro i just i have so much fun that i forget to allocate myself time normally but actually we're gonna end it here Let's just end it right here, right here, so. Uh, uh, well, no, let's end on a high note. Let's complete JS Boxing Cathedral, and we'll end things next turn. Because it is next turn, right? Uh, yeah, okay, okay. We'll end things on a high note.
not bad. stream
Doubles the scientific research. Pretty good. Uh, one thing we do want to do right here, though. Pretty cool. Uh, we won the 12 turns. Yeah, I thought 
thought the capital would be faster, but we want to build some uh, workers here. Help clean up the pollution problems. Faster having lots of cavalry. Pokemon. Oh man, I'd love to LP that game someday.
alliance against these guys. I'm thinking. We've already built um, the economics too. How do you feel about 45 gold per turn? Never accept. Wow. Uh, 192. Wow. Oh. How about. Never accept. Wow. That is interesting. Well, one thing I can offer for your world map, I will trade you fifty two gold. Still and generous, Alexander, I will give you. Hundred gold on the house. Very good. <laughs> I have a feeling the Greeks are going to declare war on us as well. do it to you guys but same for this as well yeah yeah I uh, just
you've been working toward it for a while, it is the one last time to let these guys know. Yeah, because they've been in our territory for a while. Let's see what they have to say for themselves. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Demand everything. Make this dealer suffer. <laughs> Alright. Just fight. Yeah. Let's do it. Thank you. 
making some progress here. Pretty good.
it's the uh, obviously I offshore these guys, these three, so I'm not too worried about new whatever. Did I let the Greeks out? I did not.
It's unlucky timing. Um, basically, I'm going to discourage them from counterattacking me. What's about to happen here? Anticipating some things. I have to keep an eye here for sure. But uh, can I upgrade these guys. Damn. <coughs> I I feel like I'm forgetting most. Right, these guys. Hmm, I, I see. That is quite good.
Good thing is these guys have really low defense. Yeah. All right, let's see the response from the Inca. And then, uh, yeah, like I said, we're probably going to end stream. So. Uh, yeah, let's go here. My turn. Citizens, that's key. And riflemen do not need saltpeter. Better defense. Yeah, very good. Very good. So they have an attack before. So. All right. New age, man. Welcome to the new age. <laughs> that may be what I titled this vod. <laughs> Welcome to the new age. Lighthouse is obsolete. Was... I love this theme, by the way. The uh, middle of it. Oh, really? Privateers are pretty cool.
Typed in chat earlier. Make it to thirteen fifty. Uh, yeah. Plan is to reach the thirteen fifty AD. We did it. Oh man, powered through. Uh, yeah. <sighs> we powered through all four hours, guys. Yeah, made it through all four hours. Finished the wartime preparation and good to go. All right, guys, so that's going to do it for me there. So, uh, yeah. If you happen to be watching the VOD later or, uh, you know, like what I had to say about Malta, <laughs> you need a bucket list and stuff, yeah, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, you know. Leave a comment. Leave me a comment if you're from Malta. But yeah, guys. Uh, <laughs> no, on a serious note, from the everyone watching the YouTube VOD, I just want to say, yeah guys have a good night and for you guys on twitch here watch the vod type this in this is a link to my youtube channel yeah there we go yeah feel free to go over there and uh yeah subscribe or yeah if you don't want to subscribe i understand let's just uh yeah more of my Yu-Gi-Oh stuff's over there um i've been meaning to leave that link at the end of more streams uh and yeah of course all the vods for Civ three well as long as they're not toss we post them over on youtube so yeah feel free to check those out whenever you want if you're a big civilization three fan i got you fan i got you um but yeah other than that what are we working on so we got some gx dual academy we just posted tonight some final fantasy eight we posted a couple days ago at new lp pokemon trading card game two yeah very exciting. Um, probably going to stream some more of that this week sometime. Uh, don't know about tomorrow because tomorrow's Labor Day, so I may actually take the day off. A little vacation. Um, and yeah, uh, that's it. All right, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> and uh, yeah, you guys have a good night. Thanks for watching. <laughs>